Matrices are a new way of organizing data. And so basically what they are, are they are a couple brackets with a bunch of numbers in them. And when this is useful is when we just have a, a number of equations or a number of things we want to organize, we can throw them into different rows and columns and sort of sort it out instead of having to write a whole bunch of information down in formulas or what have you. And so when we're dealing with matrices, there's a number of things we created to help us talk about that. The first thing that we need to talk about is the dimensions of a matrix. And the dimensions are basically the number of rows by the number of columns. And I just misspelled that. Number of columns. I was never really good at English. Number of columns. So looking at our matrix, remember columns go up and down. Think about you know Greece and all the ancient architecture. Columns are up and down. So columns are the number of columns, number of vertical statements. Rows go side to side. So we have two rows and we have three columns in this instance. Okay. Um, another thing we need to do is if we ever want to specify just one piece of data in this thing. So say now we have, here we have six numbers. I just want to talk about this negative seven. This matrix is named matrix A. So when I say A, this is referring to this set of data. And what you can do is say A, and then you just do row, column, and that will tell you about a specific piece of data. So if I want to talk about this number seven, A, it's in the second row, so that's a two, and it's in the third column, so this is three. So A23 is referring to negative seven. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple other matrices, make sure we have this down. So let's say we have matrix B, okay, just another set of data. One, seven, eight, and So first we want to see what the dimensions are. And dimensions are sometimes just abbreviated DIM, just to save a little bit of time. So dimensions are, again, rows by columns. So how many rows do we have? We just have one row across, so the dimension of this is just one. And we have four columns, two, three, four. So this is a one by four matrix. Okay, Let's see if we can get a little bit more information. Say we say B1, Two. The first row, it's the only row we have, and the second column, which is relating to the number seven. Okay. One last example. Let's talk about matrix C. Seven, eight. All right, so another matrix. Dimension of this one. So rows by columns, three rows across, three columns down. So this is a three by three. It's a square matrix just because it's the same dimensions either side. And if I ask you for C, let's say two, one. You're looking at the second row, first column, so this is going to be equal to 2. Some very basic language so we can communicate about matrices.